if you get rejected by a girl, you can turn that negativity into a positivity. And what the average person would tell you is like, yeah, just let it go. The average person that gets rejected or they don't get hired for that job, they just say, oh, that's not for me. It just wasn't for me. Maybe. Maybe that's true. Or maybe it's just that you were not good enough. Maybe you're what you're not good enough, bro. That's what the job is saying. They're saying they don't want you because you're not good enough. When you didn't make the basketball team, they are saying you are not good enough to be on this team because if you walked in that joint and you played like LeBron, you would be on the team. If that girl thought you were good enough, she would not have rejected you. And you can't control how other people view you. No, you can't. But you can control you. You can use this rejection as a call to growth it's not you trying to prove that you're good enough to this person you're trying to become better for yourself it's not that you're not enough it's just that you still need to grow spiritually for yourself this isn't for anybody else this isn't to prove anybody else your worth This is for you to unlock who you are. And the average person will lie to you and just say, oh, it's not for you. Oh, just move past it, bro. Yeah, move past it. But don't be like the average person, because guess what? The average person has less than a thousand dollars in their bank account. They have less than $1,000 to their name. They are in debt. They are overweight. They are out of shape. They consume entertainment all day. They have no goals. They have no vision. They have nothing to strive for. So they're going to tell you to be average. They're going to tell you to do the same thing that they do because misery loves company. This is why I tell you not to be average because people say, yeah, I just want to be average. You want to have less than a thousand dollars in your account and be in debt and have no purpose, no goals. And be overweight. What type of shit is this? So, no, don't be average. Don't listen to them. Use these rejections and failures as fuel. Yeah, we're going to move past them, but we're going to move past them from a higher consciousness. We're going to use these as energy. As energy to fuel our greatness, our goals. To become a problem. We're going to use our problems to become a problem. There's a difference. Yesterday... I was talking to my brother and he's telling me about how he's learning how to use his negative emotions and he's learning to transmute them into positivity. So while he runs, he's fueled by the negativity of others. He's fueled by his past rejections, his past pain, the doubt of others. While I was grinding, while I was working two jobs, seven days a week for a year straight to get my bread up. When I had my breakthroughs and when I had the greatest achievements in my life, I used this tactic to become better. But I forgot about it. So this morning I woke up. And I went outside and I ran and I ran for the longest distance I have in a while. And for the last two miles straight, I tapped into this dark energy. I tapped into the rejections, the past failure, the shame, the shame of rejection, the pain, the shame. The shame of feeling like 
my past mistakes are holding me back. Like I fucked up or something. The guilt of feeling like I'm not worthy. Of feeling like everybody is destined for greatness, but I'm not. I tapped into that. And for those last two miles, it was a piece of cake. That's all I was thinking about. I didn't feel no pain. I didn't feel tired. None of that. And I know you feel these same emotions too. I know you resonate with this, bro. And I want you to know rejection, pain, failure. These are really beautiful things. What it really is, is it's a spiritual call to action. It is God guiding you to take action. It is a gift to you. Use it as such. It's a spiritual call to action. That most people will never answer. Most people will ignore this call. Most people will reject this call. But now it's time to answer that shit. You're being guided. You're being guided. To a higher purpose. To your mission. You're being guided. To do. To take actions. To become. And the negative emotions are really. Positive. When you reframe them. So first let's reframe. Positivity. Because we all want to think positive. We all want to be positive people. And yeah, it's cool to be positive. But that does not mean you ignore the negative. Because you can turn the negative into a positive. You can turn these negative emotions, these negative experiences into a positive. Are you going to continue to ignore the pain and the suffering? And act like it's positivity. Or are you going to accept it? And allow it to grow you. And one of the stories. That. Hit me hard is the story of Jesus. And Gethsemane. Now this man. Went through so much suffering. Went through so much pain. His friends closest friends abandoned him he was facing death he was facing hardship he was facing rejection from society at whole and he prayed he prayed to God to take away his suffering And ultimately, he surrendered to it. He said, I, I'm going to paraphrase it because I don't know it exactly off the top of my head. Not my will, but your will be done. God's will be done. If this is your will, God, for me to suffer like this, then I accept it. I surrender to it. I surrender to your will and I will use it to get closer to you. I will not sit here and ignore all of this pain and say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to just ignore all this going on around me. No, he didn't say that. He surrendered to it. He used it as a tool to get closer to God. To get closer to the divine. To strengthen his relationship to the divine. And this is what you must do as well. And don't push this pain away. Too many people think that they got to bottle it up and not use it and ignore it. No, bro. Feel it. Let that shit burn. Let the fire fuel you. Embrace it. Don't push it away. You have to face these negative emotions and transmute them. 
and let them go. This is raw energy that you have been gifted by God that you're just ignoring. That you don't want to use because society tells you, oh, just move past it. Just, But you're really bottling it up because it's still there. You have not let it go yet. But you can use it constructively. And you're bottling up by sedating yourself. Society wants to sedate you. They want you to be on drugs and alcohol. They want you to ignore this pain, to ignore the negative emotions, to run from it every single time that you feel the shit. That's why you run from it. That's why you run to the vices. You run to the porn. You run to scrolling on social media all day. You run to Netflix. You run to escapism. Just to escape the gift that God has given you. The negative emotions. Think about that. You're viewing a gift as something you should reject. You don't want to feel it. You feel guilty. You feel shameful that you even feel this. So you're going to run from it. Instead of sitting with it and embrace it and using it to fuel you. Whatever endeavor you have, you can use this on yourself as well. You can use this. You can use your old self, your past self to fuel you. The past vices, the past pain that you put yourself through. Ultimately, use this as well. So that person that picked up the bottle to run from the pain that bitch inside you you can say i'm going to kill him i'm using that as fuel because he doesn't believe in me because your past self did not believe in you when you was on the adult movie websites and you had your dick in your hand that bitch did not believe in you you didn't believe in you kill that person Use that as fuel to grow. Say, damn, bro, I was so weak last week that I ran from the pain. I'm using this as fuel to grow. So you can get angry at yourself. At your past self. So you can kill that inner bitch within you. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Carl Jung, bro. But Carl Jung has this idea of something called the shadow. Now, the shadow is basically synonymous with your dark side. It's all of the things deemed dark by society. The things that you were shamed for, the things that you were guilted for. That you choose to hide. The negative aspects of your personality. That you choose to hide from everybody. The negative emotions that you choose to hide and run from. The jealousy. Envy. Fear. The anger. It's all in your shadow. And it's unconscious for 99% of people. When really these emotions are supposed to be transmuted. When you feel jealousy. You can use this constructively. Most people will feel jealousy and be negative. Oh, that person got a Lamborghini. They're a scammer. No, you think they're a scammer because it's a projection. You think they're a bad person because it's a projection. You think you can't conceive in your mind how somebody can make that amount of money. So you automatically think they have to scam because that's the only way that you would be able to do it. So you're going to project your jealousy and envy. Or you can use it on the opposite end. Oh, this person has a Lamborghini. They're no better than me. I'm human just like them. I bleed just like them. I shit just like them. They have emotions too. I can get the same thing. Bless them. Give them more. 
And I'm going to get it too. And this goes in different scenarios as well because everybody's triggered by different things. But you have to become conscious of the unconscious. You have to become conscious of your shadow self or in this case of this video, your dark side. And the shadow unlocks the other half of yourself. It really makes you whole. This is the part of yourself that you're hiding. And it's very destructive to run from it your whole life. You're holding yourself back, literally. Because you want to be this saint. The saint in the eyes of people who are hiding them true set. The saint. Let me say that one more time. The saint. You want to be a saint in the eyes of people who are holding themselves back. Who are acting one way on the outside, but on the inside, it's really turmoil. It's really darkness. And you want to please these people. So you are going to hold yourself back. Embrace your shadow and use it constructively. And uncover it. Because... This is 50% of your energy that you're not using. You're not even at your full potential. You're not even at your full creativity. You're not even at your full strength and power. You have to use it constructively, though. Because if you just let all this energy out and you have nowhere to direct it, then it's really going to fuck you up, bro. It really is. So that's why it's so important to have goals in your life, to have direction, to have purpose so that you can channel this quote unquote dark energy into your goals, into your purpose, into whatever you're doing and let it fuel that. Think of somebody like a Michael Jordan. Think of somebody like a Kobe Bryant. This energy needs to be used. That's why it's important to set goals, bro. And if you need help with this, if you want to take action, if you really want to make a change, then book a call with me. Click that link in the description and book a call with me. I don't know how long I'm going to do this, but I really want to help you, bro. I'm going to help you. Gain the direction and the clarity that you need. But. You need to channel this dark energy once you access it into something. So that it can be used constructively for a good purpose, for a positive purpose. Now it is a positive thing. This is the difference between wishful positive thinking and actual positive thinking. Actual positive thinking is. You're turning negatives into positives, not just you ignoring the negative, not you just ignoring the dark. You're sitting in the dark. And you're changing your perspective of the darkness. So I just want you to realize that every rejection, every no. Is not a shot at your self-worth. It's just a call for growth. A call from God, the universe is a call for growth. And it's time for you to answer that call and grow. Not for nobody else. For you. Use it as fuel. Use that rejection from that girl, that girl that ghosted you. That girl that cheated on you. That girl that left you for another dude. Use that as fuel to become better. And yeah, you could say, yeah, I'm going to prove her wrong. Because success is the best revenge. But you can prove yourself right. Prove yourself right. Become so amazing. Become so successful 
to where you'll look back at that girl and you'll say like, damn, bro, I dated her. Like she ain't even close to my level. Like think from that perspective. Like you want to be so good that you want to be so good that you look back at that girl you dated and you're like, damn, bro, I dated her. Like what, what was I doing? What was I on? That was some bullshit. You almost want to throw up. At the fact that you even entertain her. The fact you even entertain that job. The fact you even entertain those homies that slimed you out. And people that was fake. That time when you lost all that money. You know, look back and say, damn, bro, I entertained that. I sat there and was really distraught about that when I could have used that as fuel. I want you to comment the times in your life where you felt the most rejected, where you felt the most pain, where you failed. And I want you to comment that experience. And how you're going to let it fuel you to greatness. That's the end of the video. Zen Hustler. No slave. I'm out this joint. Yo, I just released a new track. Donald Trump. Because I feel like Donald Trump. Link in the description. Go run that up. Let's go. Yeah, run that shit up. <laughs>